Hello everyone, I'm Nick DeLima. And I'm Bago Mashar. And we're here to teach you all about beer pong. Beer pong was invented in ancient Greece to help young Athenian boys get more comfortable with older Athenian men in places like bathhouses. They would engage in a game known as wine discus, which they would all play together while sitting in the bath. In today's society, not much has changed. However, beer pong is primarily played by bros who come together with other lonely bros as they face their crippling loneliness in a friendly drinking competition. They laugh, they cry, and they have themselves a good time. So now let's take a look at the rules. First of all, you're going to need a long ass table where teams can face off against each other on either side. Teams can be made of one or two people, depending on how said bros are gathered that night. Each team will be given six red solo cups that are arranged in the shape of a triangle, and two beers will be split between the six cups. And this is where it gets interesting. Teams will take turns throwing their ping pong balls into each other's cups. When a team makes a shot, the opposing team must drink the contents of that cup and remove the cup from the table. Each team will throw two balls on their turn, regardless of how many bros are on that team. Teams continue taking turns shooting until one team runs out of cups, thus making them the losers. The other team, therefore, are the winners. Their prize? They get to finish their beer. Then you switch sides and start the game again. Every variation of beer pong plays with these set of rules. Throw balls into cups. Simple. Different groups of people play with different rules, so why don't we cover some of the more uncommon ones? First up, the rearrange. During each game, each team is allowed to ask the opposing team to change the current setup of the cups into a new shape of their choosing. You're allowed to do this so that you may give yourself an easier target when taking shots. Teams generally want to keep the rearrange until later in the game when it becomes more beneficial to use. Once you've used a rearrange, you cannot use it again. The second rule we'll discuss today is balls back. Balls back is when you take a shot, but the ball bounces back to your side of the table. Some believe you're allowed to take another shot, simply because the ball has to turn to you by the grace of God. However, that rule is bull****. Beer pong is a gentleman's sport and you must act accordingly. When the ball bounces back to your side, kindly return it to the opposing team in a polite manner. Finally, we have to talk about redemption. Redemption occurs when your opponent makes a shot into your last cup. You're then given two shots to try and sink one of your balls into the one of your opponent's cups on the other side of the table. If you make one of the two shots, your opponent's last turn is erased and you continue playing the game. As long as you keep making redemptions, you can have as many redemptions as you can make. So now you know how to play beer pong. So call up some bros, find some ping pong balls, and start playing. And may the balls be forever in your favor.